Oh, one thing about me today uh, is that I did not bundle up enough. It's absolutely frigid. I want to try and get through a whole chapter. Let's see. Let's see what I can do before my fingies freeze off. I don't know what I was thinking not wearing enough layers, but next time. a whole month of my life um, to the flu. Have you ever been so sick that your brain just can't comprehend thoughts outside of ensuring your physical survival? I've stepped out of my passions, my hobbies, my routines. I've been removed from all of that for a month and now that I'm stepping back into it there's some reinvention to be done. Like I think I'm having a bit the of a quarter life, life crisis. crisis. Taking a month of like bed rest for this sickness has almost like tricked my brain into thinking that I've like given up because I haven't even had the energy to like sit up in bed, let alone go and paint something. My mind's almost convincing myself that I've given up my passions and I don't know what I want to do, which I think to an extent is true. I do feel a little lost right now. I think it's an important time for me to like lean into a hobby or like learning something new that's like totally separate from my passions I, like my career passions like i want to learn how to like make a good sourdough starter i want my herbs to successfully grow this spring um and i think it's gonna be important to like lean into those things or like learn new things like something i've always wanted to do is learn how to sew or like operate a sewing machine so that i can like hem things fix things like customize all my clothes to fit me like perfectly like i love that idea so that's what i did at the library so i got some instructional books which I also love the idea of tapping into right now. Like I think relying on a YouTube video or Google has become so like instinctual and resourceful. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I don't think one's better than the other, but I think this is just something different. Um, and I think there's the added bonus feeling the accomplishment of having read something. And it's just a different modality of like learning something. Nothing wrong with Googling, but I'm excited to see how these authors chose to curate um, information that's gonna help me in my journey. I typically, I think these machines are really good about catching the needle. So yeah, I've decided that my solution to this crisis is going to be to focus on some hobbies. The tough thing about like your life goals also being your passions is that that's the place that you often go to to like find escape, to find pleasure. You know, there are multiple areas of life and multiple spaces that can also nurture that. And I think when things are feeling a little cloudy, it's important to keep discovering new things elsewhere, find new spaces to escape and find pleasure in. So that's my plan. Look at Miss Sophia. This is gonna be an after work journey today. I know that I said I wanted to learn exclusively from a book format, then I think that I might need to consult my other sources. I'm thinking maybe I, I should have gotten a book on just exclusively operating a sewing machine. I am a visual learner and so I kind of need to follow a silly little YouTube video. One thing about me is I love learning new things, but if I'm not like instantly good at it or don't immediately understand it, I hate it. Oh. Is that it? Oh. And of course, I'm sure you know it's red needle. I don't! Do we put it in like that? Uh, uh, I usually will go ahead and pull oh. the bottom thread up. I 
Like I can't describe it without sounding bizarre, but there's like an old like machine smell to it. That's like very nostalgic. Um, but what I want to do is just show you a very basic stitch. So this might be your first stitch ever. <laughs> a stupid little top. I don't know. Look at the ribbons that I added. So I need you to know that I know that it's not good. I don't know. So did I even have a plan to sit down at the sewing machine tonight? No. Did I? Yes. And then I did that test of like that one seam and then I ended up making all the different parts and it's like it's not a good top but it's a top. Not nothing. I don't know. I don't know if I did anything here.